and it's the sound of the birds. That's not a bird, that's a kid. Okay. It sounds like spring. A little bit. Today is really um, my own session. No, because the beak and the whip we will perform another three weeks and look around this is the third month consecutive in gray sky okay the weather specialists the meteorologists might argue about it because I can see it my one camera is pointing directly into the heaven and sometimes I can see tiny bits of blue sky you know but in this angle it's all gray and today you can even look straight up into the sky and it's gray so cloudy three months long cloudy so but i managed to come around the january depression <laughs> no. yes the meditation is really helpful no. even with wobbly outer circumstances you know all the circumstances in life it's all part of this qigong you know my qigong is meditation this movements and it's yoga yoga no join your mental patterns and so forth learn to know them learn to know your body you know, the interconnectedness of these two and the interconnectedness of your body process your mind process with the with everything you know with every process from the subatomic level to the universe you know it's all all interconnected processes i i just looked it up it's already process philosophy is already a topic these are you know, kind of the world view changes and i'm not an ordinary teacher i think i'm really more like an old master it's all this marketing stuff is all leading into the wrong direction you know i got the best yoga mat better than you are and i can perform yoga better than you are and i am better and and i have to come and being entertaining and no you know that's nothing i am doing because that's the wrong way hmm? the motivation must be developed in yourself because it's your way you know, I just can point to the, the Buddha Sutta which I read you can look it up it's with Badya so you have to find your own way I can tell you something which I have found out and really found out read and practiced and found to be true or well, sometimes I'm developed it by myself but in all the history of mankind other people will have developed the same before me you know so I'm not so unique I'm a unique process of of course you are also But uh, in Kundalini Yoga, there's the ego destroyer, you know. 
we are not destroying it. It will break up by itself. Enough talking? Really, five minutes. Shaking on your place, awakening the chi, moving like a tree. It's really moving. And then something. I really don't know it, what I need today. I think it's something meridian stretch exercise and the harmony of the five changing seasons. Maybe an improvisation, but no Tai Chi today. Okay. And I hope the, uh, I can switch one more, one time. Yes, I hope the sound is coming through and the picture isn't too dark. Shaking on your place. It's even a little bit too bright now. Ah, doesn't matter. For instance, you know, I'm, I'm using the Macintosh mouse on my computer, on my mini Mac. And now I found out that the mouse isn't that ergonomically. You know? So my right arm is hurting on several regions and I have to take care of it. So. I'm trying to loosen up a little bit more because that might be of interest. I got pain now. I think it's uh, caused by this Macintosh mouse, the wireless one. I think it's uh, the ordinary Macintosh mouse. I don't know for sure, you know. But the first step is to f uh, listen to your body, focus on the points. And then I found out that the most, the most uh, of the pain is coming from tensed muscles, muscles. You know, the ordinary, what I'm always talking about. So I have to remember all the time to loosen up to soothe my arm. And in the next step, when my arm is quite comfortable, I have to find another mouse for my P for my Macintosh or I have to adapt my my moving and grabbing pattern to this mouse. Very aware, you know? But with pain, you are not able to find a comfortable habit, you know. And that's the same with your mind. You, at first, you have to learn about your mental patterns, how they are connected to your bodily feelings, and what the what is the cause of all this back and forth, you know, the loka, dharmas. And in the first place it's not to get rid of all this mental stuff, you know, because feelings are good, there are pointers but not being driven by hate greed hatred and delusion you know that you are cultivating a little pause that you are able to to find out the cause of this feeling and therefore you have to look straight in the eye of your own anger in your in the eye of your own fear 
and in the eye of this dullness, delusion, that's really complicated. And at first, of course, the rough ones. Good nutrition, healthy nutrition, good night rest and your own meditation practice are pre prerequisites for this in Qigong also, you know. And the more I'm studying all this stuff and religion, you know, it's all about the same. It's self-cultivation. They are all talking about the same intentional direction. If it's monotheism, no theism, doesn't matter. You have to move your body to learn about your body. You have to watch your mind to learn about your mind. And then it's up to you. If you want to train your fighting and anger and so forth, or if you want to be more harmonious with yourself and your surroundings, that's up to you. I prefer the harmonious way. And anger? You have a goal, you, you can, <laughs> that might be your goal, you can achieve it. Now you are angry. If you want to fight with somebody, you have a result. You are fighting with somebody. But this harm harmonious way is without end, you know, because you can never will be able to find total harmony. But the direction is for me more attractive than disharmony. You, know? you can play around with disharmony as long as you are coming back to harmony. Enough awakening the chi. And all this talking is, I think it's important, otherwise I wouldn't talk so much. And I know there are very, 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 very few people who are inter interested in it, but for those I'm talking. Because I would like to have had it in my youth. Somebody to ask all this stuff. That was another time. Now you are overwhelmed by information. You know.
uh, don't know the time so coming to moving like a tree maybe without the fingers yes no fingers in my gloves Still moving, still relaxing to the heaven. Feel your weight points and relaxing <coughs> to the ground. Appreciate the moment. The air. And I'm moving around like a tree until I'm feeling this warm heart. You know, the beginning of the inner smile. Because it's the reward of the first part. But it's also needed, you know, all the time. All the day. Long. Yes, the beginning sequence. One brief look into the chat. Okay, and in technical stuff. Okay. Yeah, the, the harmony of the five changing seasons. You may look it up on Wikipedia, the five changing seasons, because it's a core, core topic in Chinese stuff. And as I know, no longer in Chinese, in two days, traditional Chinese medicine because uh, they, they took the eight principles, principles but it's good to have a first look on it because there's very much schmoo around you know if you are if you are grabbing something uh, of this um, pattern you know this core pattern and then you are um, eager to put everything uh, which you are in knowledge of into this pattern and that's the wrong way around 
you have to know your mind your body and just have a look a brief look on this pattern try to understand it by intellect at first and then reject it let it drop and with your own practice your own knowledge about yourself and your surroundings try to find equivalence if there is any that's the same with key you can have a look what are the interpretations you know and then reject this pattern and try to find out what that might be no even not might be if you are finding your own energy you are on the right path you know the monkey mind likes to put everything in boxes you know and this key for instance processes you might get your head around it but this is based on it and we have tried it uh, in another um, what in another combination these five forms and it's becoming unhealthy so there might be really something to it that's the the f main reason i'm uh newly new discovering it for myself you know i've already rejected it i have already learned it in 1994 i think but that's water inhale and exhale that's the growing of a sapling it's not wood it's the growing force of a sapling that's your heart the warmth normally fire so it's in the height of your heart these hands that's earth stomach that's something described as a stable equilibrium not a stable you know what i mean that's metal that's structure that's one round inhale relax to the ground while exhaling inhaling relax to the ground while exhaling inhaling exhaling inhaling and exhaling inhaling and exhaling and inhaling lift up your opposite heel exhaling to the ground with parallel hands
strange, the bushes, bushes are becoming leaves. They are already playing springtime in January. And some round very slow. And feel, of course. One round, one more round. Until you are smiling. Yes, already collecting the chi. Already. Yes, that's one session, one brief session. <laughs> Collecting my stuff and uh, look into the chat. Yes. Uh,
that's good but today you are a little bit unlucky because that wasn't Tai Chi it, of course this Qigong practices are preliminaries for Tai Chi of course and I don't know what you are calling Tai Chi the ordinary Tai Chi is really a martial arts and I am we are performing just the Beijing form the 24 form and the, this was developed in 1950 around in Beijing for the health of the masses so we are if you are performing martial arts it might be helpful it would be helpful but uh, that's not our aim you know we are not aiming um, towards self-defense and so forth it's more for body and mind perception it's a, it fits more into your own meditation practice you know which is also part of this and a little bit of yoga practices also but look it up Qigong is also with sitting practices which are nearly the same to some of the yoga asanas and yoga isn't just this exercises you know it's more towards meditation philosophy uh, other form of interpreting your life and living more healthy with yourself and with everybody with you too and thank you for participating you know I hope I will see you next time too have a nice week next Wednesday 1 p.m. in English roundabout and 1 p.m. on Saturdays in German you can find the foremost sessions on Twitch for six weeks I think and edited and a little bit freshed up on YouTube and on the internet page there are plenty of other topics thank you until next time back to the black yes bye bye